Jack Welch. Very nice to see you. Hello, Mason Hollywood. Very nice to see you. How are you? Congratulations. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome the entire management team, board, and friends of Wipro to this truly historic day here at 11 Wall Street. Only twice in the history, the 208 year history of this institution, has a company rung both the opening and closing bells here to commence and then to cease trading. I can't think of a better way to welcome Wipro India's largest market capitalization company, obviously its largest IT company, but increasingly a global leader in IT services to this marketplace. And I know that all of my colleagues from the New York Stock Exchange and certainly all from the underwriting community who were privileged to bring this great company's shares to the American investor share the pride that all of us here at 11 Wall Street have today. Wipro marks the fifth company from India to join the New York Stock Exchange. It is its largest. We are so very privileged that India's former prime minister is with us this evening and will speak briefly in a moment or two. We very proudly, as I shared with the prime minister, fly two flags today to commemorate the growing partnership, the warmth, and certainly the great, the great commercial partners that India and the U.S. have become, not just in IT, but through all walks of commerce, and certainly in a political sense, the world's greatest democracy. It is, for so many reasons, a very special day for this institution, for U.S. investors, the opportunity to participate in a company whose future is so bright and whose past is so indicative of the great growth that lies in front of it. Wipro has privileged the New York Stock Exchange by becoming a member of our family, and we are very proud of that. I'm all, on behalf of all of my partners here, I'm, I'm glowing in the, uh, in the fact that this company has launched and has indeed experienced better than a 20% appreciation on its first day. Given that level, <laughs> given that level of performance, uh, you're going to hear in a moment or two from a man who has taken a $9,000 investment in GE over the course of his leadership years to more than a half a million dollars as he begins to look at that, uh, that fateful moment in April, I guess it is, Jack, when you will ring the closing bell here at the NYSE. But given Wipro's performance today, it is very likely that between now and April, it will outperform what Jack has done over the 20 years of his great leadership <laughs> at uh, General Electric. <laughs> to begin our evening, uh, I am pleased and honored to introduce Azim Premji, the founder of Wipro, the visionary who has brought this company in a short period of time to a truly global leadership role. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Wipro's founder, Azim Premji.
This has been an extremely exciting day for us, and uh, we are very, very thrilled to be here. We're very honored that uh, Mr. Gujral, our ex-Prime Minister, is here. We're very honored that Jack Welch is here. I've known Jack for many years. We are one of his early joint ventures in India. And we have really enjoyed and learned a lot working with GE, because they're a very tough partner to work with. <coughs> this, this event is extremely important for us, because it truly marks a true leap into being a global company. We appreciate uh, the standards which a global listing, like a listing on the New York Stock Exchange, demands of a company, which has not had such experiences before. Uh, but we build a very strong track record in India. Uh, we have built it on cash flows. We have built it on very strong people, a very strong technology, and an extremely strong commitment to our customers. Uh, what I would like to reiterate here, and we have many of our customers here, that uh, the demands of, of the overseas listing are going to be many, but the most important demand which we will continue to outshine on is the demand of uh, improving quality, uh, reach, reaching the best of the best. We are already today SEI 5, the first global company to become SEI 5 in 1998 in software. Plus, we are working towards Six Sigma for the past uh, three years. What I do assure you all our customers here that what this will do is raise further our standards, and you should start expecting more from us, very much more from us. I would now like to welcome Jack Welch, uh, my partner in India, to say a few words, please. This seems to be a great celebration for almost everyone. Uh, stock is up 25, 20% in a day, so the employees are all very happy and smiling, feeling good. The market is up dramatically, so JIT has got a glow that uh, doesn't change. The um, Vivek Paul, who used to work for G, was stolen by <laughs> ASM to go back to, uh, to Wip where Wipro is smiling and happy with his newfound wealth. The only guy that's missed the boat here all day today is me. <laughs> not only was I not friends and family in this offering from Morgan Stanley and others, RSM, my stock didn't go up today. <laughs> so I've had less than the perfect day while I come here to congratulate you on what is absolutely a perfect day, and I couldn't be more thrilled for you. I, uh, I'm a great fan of his MFMG. I'm a great fan because I've done business with him for 10 years. And as we all know, as you go around the, the world globally, you don't always find some of the same rules and regulations you find here. Whether you're in Europe, or whether you're in China, or whether you're in India, or anywhere else. Now, we have our problems too, but in general, people understand the rules of the road. From the first day, of dealing with Wipro and his M and his team, there's been nothing but quality characters in every way, shape, or form. The highest integrity, the highest quality work, somewhat high prices. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, as a joint venture, you couldn't find a better partner. As a supplier, you couldn't find a higher quality partner. And as a friend, you couldn't find somebody with more integrity. So I'm honored, my wife and I, Jane, are here today to, to celebrate. He's in, he had us at his home about a month ago in Bangalore. And uh, I consider myself uh, and his in real friends. And uh, I am happy as hell for him today, even if I am a little sad for myself. <laughs> I would now like to request uh, Mr. Gujral, uh, the previous prime, prime Minister of India. He was our Prime Minister during 97 and 98. Uh, Mr. Gujral is a very distinguished Prime Minister. He's a very learned person. I would request him to say a few words, please. Mr. Gujral. Uh, Mr. Premji, Mr. Barso, Leaders of the 
industry and trade ladies' friends. I feel a very proud man today for several reasons, two particularly. One, of course, that I should come to this building for the first time at a moment when Mr. Premji's Vipro has made its entry and mark. My congratulations. I'm happy that uh, India, its IT industry, has now come to a stage when it can be counted amongst the world industries. When this revolution began in our country, I was asking myself one simple question. The first two industrial revolutions, the steam and the electricity, India was kept away from it, not by choice, but by political compulsions. And then comes the third revolution, the information revolution. And overnight, as if we have leaders like Mr. Premji and others who catch hold of this revolution from the fore and make their place in a matter of years, few years. Of course, if I may say so without bragging about India, one advantage we have, we are the people who invented zero. And therefore, if we could invent zero, naturally, Mr. Azim Premji would find it much easier to interpret it into digit. So digital revolution in India, I think, coexists and have based to on this we have made our place. To come to this place where I was told that you exchange billions of dollars per day, my only deep regret is that when Azim started making a start, he should have allotted me one share also. <laughs> And that one share would have made all the difference to me and my children. <laughs> but may I thank you all the way you have come up. Because I think this is a great day for India. In Indian history, we had some defining moments. One was when we became free. And I think today also is a defining moment in Indian history. When we all stand together, shoulder to shoulder, as comrades, as friends, as partners. And that is where my head is raised with pride. And I thank you for this, because a new company, it is a new friendship, it is a new partnership. President Clinton had told our Prime Minister that we are partners. Today, in his thanks to Mr. Borso, we are in reality partners. Thank you very much. And my hearty congratulation to Azim particularly for making us prouder Indians. Thank you very much. Mr. Prime Minister, we are all so very fortunate to have you with us today. Jack, we thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. The leadership that you've brought to GE is a model, not just for here in the U.S., but for around the world. We are a better corporate world because of Jack Welsh and Azim. This is, as I said in Bangalore when we first started twisting your arm, going to be a historic moment for this institution. It truly is that, and then some. We very proudly today become Wipro's partner and equally important, Mr. Prime Minister, that wonderful opportunity to fly the flags of our two great nations side by side. We are deeply honored for the partnership we have with India. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for joining us this afternoon. We will continue to celebrate a very special moment in the history of this institution. Thank you all very much. Very much.